We have been called to be humble, and again, what do I think some of my things I need to work on? Well, you wouldn't know it here, but at home, it's been called to my attention. <laughs> Pat, you don't always have to be right. Can any couples relate to that? You know sometimes you just want to just have the last word because you know you're right? And instead of being humble and stopping and shutting your mouth, maybe, just maybe, your partner has some wisdom too to share? Right? <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> I have an opening for couples counseling on. <laughs> Tell you. But it's true, isn't it? You know, I've been practicing that the last couple months. If Steph's here, you can agree. I've been practicing, I've been trying. At least there's longer pauses before I give my answer but it's a sense of pride, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> good, I'll fill you in later, honey, don't worry. <laughs> we are called to be humble. So what is being humble? It's not being a doormat. I really invite you, if you can, to come on Thursday of Holy Week. Because if you want the greatest biblical lesson of humbleness, it is to come and to be reminded of the story of Jesus washing the feet of his disciples. He took the position of the lowest in society to serve those who followed him. See, the greatest leader is the greatest servant. The greatest leader is the one who isn't worried about getting their hands dirty. That's the one who gets on their knees and says, I will wash your feet. I will help cleanse your soul. I will do the things that must be done. We are called to serve, not to be a doormat. Humbleness and humility all come from the same root word that means the earth. So being humble and living a life of humility is about grounding ourselves in God. Humility is about emptying ourselves. We often hear about it though from a spiritual point of view about becoming nothing. And we equate that to being worthless. But friends, being humble means emptying ourselves of our ego and allowing God to take its place. It is about emptying ourselves out of all of our zzzz and allowing God to fill us up. Yes, it is about emptying ourselves, but not to become nothing, but to become something. And that something is someone filled with God. So we are called to be humble, not boastful. We are called to be the best of who we are. Scripture said, be the best of who you are. Don't try to be somebody different. Honey, if I tried to be the music minister, there'd be nobody in this church, <laughs> amen? Because <laughs> that is not my gift. Look at Dana going, ha, ha, ha. There are some things you don't even want to imagine and that would be one of them, amen? I remember when I was probably about four, five, six years old, I remember that I was in the kitchen with my mom and my uncle and it was that, so little girl, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I don't know where this came from, but I remember this to this day. I said, I don't know, but whatever I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be the best at it. Wow, I was right. I, I, to this day, remember saying that. I have no clue where it came from. 
Doesn't matter if you don't know what you're gonna be, just be the best you that you can be. That is not being prideful, that is being full of God, amen? That is about being full of God. Being humble is about remembering to be thankful to God. Being humble is to remember that it's not about us giving to God, it is about God giving to us, amen? Distinction, there's a difference in there. It is about truly living our full potential because when we don't, we waste the gift that God has given us, amen? When we do not live our lives to the full potential, we waste the gifts that God has bestowed upon us. Arrogance, amen? So you know what? Any old tapes telling you you're not good enough, say, excuse me, I'm sorry, but I cannot flip God off today. I am gonna be the best that God has called me to be. If it is to sweep, be the best sweeper. If it is to play music, be the best musician. If it is to be hospitable, greet people with open arms. If it is to be a preacher, then you better preach. If it's a teacher, you better teach. If it is to be the one to give the hugs, give the best hugs in the world, amen? Amen. Be the best that you have been called to do. And lastly, being humble is about taking our own inventory. Ooh. Amen. Not other people's. Take our own inventory and do something about it. Because, honey, we can. Ha- how many of you have that list? Of course, I know everything that's wrong with me. <laughs> no, it's your to do list. And we need to work it. <sighs> humbleness and living a life of humbleness is a combination of open-mindedness. It is about living a life full of faith in God and the realization that the will of God is for us and is always, always something joyous, something interesting and vital and living a life filled with God is much better than anything we can do for ourselves. Pride, humbleness. We have the choice. Let us empty ourselves. Let us fill ourselves with the presence of God. And as it is said in Micah 6, 8, If you wanna know what God wants and what does God require of you. God does not say I want the most pompous, arrogant, haughty, well-off person. No, what God says to us, I want you to act justly. I want you to make a difference. I want you to love mercy. I want you to live a life of compassion, and I want you to walk humbly with your God. Amen? Amen. Amen.